So let's talk about enclosures, making enclosures for 3D printing. If you're coming from Tinkercad, you've probably made an enclosure something like this, maybe? Um, this is actually one of the first enclosures I made, and it's basically just a box that's used as a void, right? That's pretty familiar. And it's kind of easy to, and straightforward to set up, but there's actually a way easier way to do this in Autodesk's 1-2-3D design. And that's what we're going to take a look at. So I have a couple different shapes here. We're just going to kind of experiment with the uh, shell function that's in 1-2-3-D. And you can easily bring that up by hitting J on the keyboard and then clicking on any surface of an object. So I'll just click on the top here. And whoa, did you look at that? It's that easy. Uh, you get a manipulator here that uh, uh, does the thickness. And then you can change the direction from uh, outside to in if you wanted to. That's really cool. But it's not just limited to one surface. We could select multiple surfaces and then hit J on our keyboard. And then you get something like that. And then you can still you know, interact with it like that. And the cool thing is you can layer these on top of each other. So if I click J again, I can shell it even another time and do the same stuff here. So that's really cool. And another thing to note is that it's, um, in a way, it's kind of non-destructive. Let's say I, I lost my undo. You could select this and just delete it like that. Let's look at the triangle and, and see what happens when I shell that. Okay, that's what you would expect. Works well like that. Uh, this is a half of a circle, so if you wanted to make a bowl, um, let's let's make that. Again, you can interact with the little slider there, and it's it's pretty it's pretty fast and, and really useful in this case. Um, let's next up, it's a cylinder. So let's say I wanted to make a full um, a full tube. I would select uh, both top and bottom surfaces and hit J. And then you have this sort of tube. So that can be useful for many different things. And one last shape, we have a torus here. This is a uh, half of a torus, like a donut. And apply a shell on that one. And you get sort of this. Uh-oh, it's not working. Sometimes things don't work. Let's, let's go ahead and create a new one. New torus like that, and then we'll use this shape to cut it out. This is always fun. <laughs> Bring that up there, and then we'll hit P on our keyboard to increase the uh, size of it. So now I'll just hit um, the key command to subtract that. Hit J again. There you go. And then that's the uh, the shell you can apply on a on a half of a torus to get sort of this this uh, hollow noodle looking thing. So again, you can use shell on many different shapes, on different surfaces. It's non-destructive, it's editable uh, well, before you try it. So definitely check it out. There's awesome other things in there. And uh, that's just one quick tip that I wanted to bring up.